uh, I'm a flight risk Ay, I don't think they ready for the shit shopping trip but yeah basically going through what I would typically buy in a grocery shopping trip so yeah if that interests you to any extent then continue watching hi um, welcome to editing Vanessa um, just a little heads up if you're looking for a good grocery shopping um, video haul, whatever this is, um, just exit out, wherever, um, because this is not it. Um, I don't know what I was thinking when I was filming this. Zero structure, zero plan, so, um, th this video is not helpful to anyone. I feel like I picked up maybe three things that were, like, valuable in this video. Um, other than that, it's just me talking, um, into a camera at Sobeys. Um, but I'd still appreciate the like and comment and subscription to subscribe subscribe even though this video is not worth it but if you just want to hear me talk in Sobeys um, continue watching and hope you enjoy should I just scream? no just speak alright guys so we're gonna get some spinach and gonna splurge and that's six dollars. So this is supposed to be like a budget. But let's see, this is like a like an in the week budget grocery shopping haul. I'll have to make like an actual video where I'm completely like run out of food starving for this to actually be a complete grocery shopping haul because right now it's more just like stocking up. The brine is disgusting, even though he's never tried it. It's like a cactus and pear and that's but oh. <laughs> I don't even know how to describe them. But I have them at, I think I still have them at home, so maybe we can do like a like an ASMR eating vlog too. Your B roll. Of the toes. Fashion outfit of the day. <laughs> buy more protein because I still not finished mine for the week and then I have to cook for this week so typically I'd either get like lean ground beef or just like chicken like or chicken breast but since we already have that at home and this is a budget video we're not gonna get that this is what I need to buy a staple in my breakfast is turkey chicken bacon but the first one I saw oh hold on no we're gonna do chicken bacon um we're not getting any kind of peanut butter we're getting the honey peanut butter oh, oh and cereal so that's what we need to get a new one okay. but cereal is something that I allow myself to get like sugary sugary 
because I like using that as a pre-workout and I eat it as a cereal with my protein shake. I've already had the Reese's Puffs. I usually have the, what are they called? Cinnamon Toast Crunch. I recently got the Oreo flavored Honey Nut Cheerios. So now it's time for something new. Too many options. <gasps> what? Actually, that doesn't really look that good. So we're gonna go for Cocoa Puffs. That's the final decision. Cocoa Puffs for these, bleh, I can't speak. Cocoa Puffs for this week it is. Okay, so another thing I usually get um, throughout the week is oatmeal, but I've been kind of slacking on it, so I still have some at home. But I just use this as my breakfast, and then like right before my workout is when I would have the, the cereal with the protein shake. And typically, I just get this one. Gluten-free and I have that with whatever I'm craving in the mornings. Whether that be like a scoop of protein, fruits, honey, granola, whatever, I'll just put that in based on how I'm feeling. There's a science to getting rice cakes and it's pre-planning your cravings for the week. So, no basil for when we're feeling a little bit savory and then we want something like salty. Um, and then, I think for this week, ow, my leg, um, I think for this week, we're just gonna get the regular caramel for when we're feeling a little bit more sweet and sugary. So those are gonna be our two for the week and we're gonna alternate based on cravings. So usually I'll just eat regular eggs, but since I'm trying to lose a little bit of weight, um, we're gonna get <laughs> so oh egg my god, that's I dropped that. So it's literally just egg whites. Um, one thing has, so if you do like one, oh my God, no. I need to go to bed. If you do one, a quarter cup, that is seven grams of protein. So I usually do like half a cup for my breakfast and then I'll have like other sources of protein. I honestly just don't like the yolk, if I'm gonna be honest, that's literally the only reason why I, I use egg whites. And I feel bad throwing out the yolk, so. Okay. So apparently, Brian says that this is amazing to mix in with your oatmeal. And if you look at the macros, I mean, I'm not tracking anything, but it helps when they're good. Oh my God, my nail's not nice. Um, so 20 calories per a third of a cup, zero fat, zero sodium, only five grams of carbs, and then one gram of protein. So like it really does not, doesn't get better than that. Uh, just preparing for fall, right? Exactly. Light your, light your pumpkin scented candles your pumpkin fudge latte and have your pumpkin oatmeal. So we're getting ready for fall now apparently. Okay, we're gonna get some asparagus you know, to add to as our greens for our meals. So I like to pick like the thickest looking asparagus. These ones are a little lacking but you know mm, no, no. we're gonna get these ones. So our greens for the week, honestly, probably going to need to pick up more. This is all the items we'll be getting today? Yes. So, for the most part, I have, like, my my base, like, proteins at home, my chicken and my beef. That's what I usually eat. And then this is just top-ups. So, like, cereal, the bacon, things that I eat, like, more often throughout the day, not as just, like, big meals. And then... I just want to let you in on a tip that I use throughout the week. Um, when I'm kind of low on time, I'll usually just take these. So these are awesome to um, have as a meal before or after your workout. Um, you can go for like more of like a higher carb for the pizza. And then you have like higher protein with the, um, the ham right there. So awesome for meal prepping, especially when you're short on time. So just a little quick tip for you guys. All right, let me know if you try it out. <laughs> use my code. 15% off. Let's see. So we just wrapped up our grocery store oh, haul. Um, Brian tried to fit it in one bag. So I did put it in one bag and it was successful. Maybe we'll finish it off in the car. Maybe. So surprise, I didn't finish off any of the video in the car. Um, I'm really bad at this whole YouTube thing, if you couldn't tell already. Um, I upload like once every two months. Um, 
I don't have any excuses for myself. Um, if you're actually subscribed and watch my videos and like them, thanks. Um, even though they're below average. Um, yeah, I, I don't know what to say. I'm bad at this. So somebody just give me like video recommendations and then I'll try and make them. Yeah. Um. Well, if you made it to the end of the video, thanks. Um, I'll try harder next time. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe.